Based on the map though, we are right on the border. I'm assuming that's going to focus. And let's see what it says, 11 and a half hours left to Dallas. Don't know how far I'm gonna drive today. So I just found out I'm less than two and a half hours away from Albuquerque, which is where I was originally planning on staying tonight. But I don't think that's far enough. I can definitely keep going. It's only 2.20, so I'll be there at, what is it, how far did I say? 4.50 I'll be there. That would be a waste of a day. So I'm gonna try to keep going. I'm already kind of getting tired, but maybe I'll stop and just take a nap or something. And then continue at night. I'm trying to get back home as soon as possible so I can rest properly. So as the squeaking continues to test my patience, I suddenly remembered Albuquerque is where Breaking Bad is based. So at some point I'm gonna pull over and get gas and look up some of the locations of Breaking Bad and drive by them and say, oh, that's so cool. I'm gonna go to Walter White's house. I'm gonna look for Los Pollos Hermanos and whatever else they got. I don't, I don't even remember what else is actually in Albuquerque, but thank you. But thanks to the internet, I'm sure I'll be able to find it. No props. Pretty excited about this. I was thinking I was gonna do this whole drive and not do anything fun. I was gonna stop by the Grand Canyon, but then I passed it last night. And I was like, I don't want to stop here and wait for the morning just to see the Grand Canyon when I'm already seeing it. So yeah, Breaking Bad tour, here we come. Just stopped off for gas real quick, and now the Breaking Bad tour has officially started. I'm 27 minutes from the first location, which is Los Puyos Hermanos, which I believe incorrectly, I mean, I think it's incorrect grammar in Spanish, but it's supposed to mean the Chicken Brothers. So that's my first stop. Don't know how many of them I'm gonna get through. I mean, I have nothing else to do, but I'd like to kind of continue tonight and get a little further since it's so early. This weekend is still going. I went back there and was poking around and couldn't figure out at all what it could be. It's getting louder. <laughs> Tour started. Here I am at Los Pollos Hermanos. You can see it there in the show, and then you can see it right here. It's actually just called Twisters. My windshield is dirty. Their regular sign is exciting as well. Los Pollos Hermanos. I'm gonna go inside and check it out. All right, so I did not go inside because I was not hungry and I looked in the window and it just looked like a regular restaurant. It wasn't very exciting. Um, now we've got 19 minutes over. Now we've got a 19 minute drive over to Jesse Pinkman's house. Stop number two. There's another one on the list. It's like this lady that made the props for the Met. She makes this blue candy and you can buy it there. She still has bags of it. She sells it, but I'm like, I think it's called the blue lady or something candy. I don't know. But I'm not going there because I don't really care to get some blue candy uh, and I'm kind of low on time. Look, on my tour, I also found Bob's Burgers. I love Bob's Burgers. What in the world is this thing? It looks unfinished, maybe? Don't know. Waiting at a stoplight. Here we are at the Hewning Castle neighborhood. This is by far the nicest neighborhood I've seen. Hey! Ooh, the castle. Hewning. Ruining? I don't know what that said. We're getting close. Turn right onto 16th Street Southwest, but the destination is on your right. And here you have it in the picture from the show. And this is it. And this car is doing the same exact thing that I am. I've seen them following me around. But here it is. Jesse Pinkman's house. He lived in a nice neighborhood. Way to go, Jesse. You really knew how to do it big. Okay, so next I'm skipping a bunch of diners and meeting places and things like that because they're not that exciting to me and I'm getting tired of driving. So next I'm Turn going left, to the car wash. I think it's called A1A Car Wash. Be quiet. I think it's called A1A Car Wash, the one that Walter buys to hide his drug money. So that's the next one. It is 20 minutes away. Here it is, the A1A car wash, there's the picture, and here's the real deal. It is now called the Mr. Car Wash. It's 
a little zoom going. Car wash. Cool, very cool, very cool. Next stop is Walter White's house and it's only six minutes away. What a deal! So I'm at Walter White's house and the homeowners are just sitting out front in lawn chairs. So I don't want to be creepy, so I'm just going to like kind of put the camera real low and do a drive by and hope they don't notice and think I'm weird. Not that I'll ever see them again, but you know, this and then I think my last stop is just going to be better call Saul's office. I'm hoping you can even tell that it was in the show. I'm sure it looked pretty different. Anyway. That was it, then maybe I'll just keep driving. Maybe I'll skip Saul's office. It doesn't look that great. But here is Walter's house. Here is the house. You can see, it definitely looks like that just with two older people sitting out front of it right now. And here we go, I'm hoping this is in focus. And then you can see what's going on. I bet they're talking about me right now going, hey, what's this guy doing with this camera? I bet he wanted to come film the house and he was too scared. And they would be right. And there you have it, boom. In a glimpse of an eye, there went Walter White's house. The glimpse of an eye? Is that, is that a saying? In the blink of an eye. What am I doing? I gotta get some rest. I always need some rest. I don't know how to talk anymore because I don't rest enough. Talk equals rest. Rest equals talk. What am I saying? Ah, bye. Well, Saul Goodman's office is just three minutes up the road, so I kind of have to go now. It would be silly not to. And here we are at Saul's office. Here we are at Saul's office. I liked it a lot better when it had the Statue of Liberty, and now it appears to be called Sinners and Saints. And it's the only one painted a different color. Sinners and Saints. Oh, the irony. Saul Goodman's office becomes sinners and saints. I think irony is the word there I'm looking for. Look at how bright this rainbow section is. You can even see it on the camera. Stopping at Love's for a little Carl's dinner. What should I get? I'm feeling a burrito. I just got some guacamole burger, but this looks amazing. Thousand Island and grilled onions. Next time I know what I'm getting. Went with some bacon guacamole burger today. It is huge. I got the smallest one too. Guys, I figured out the squeaking. It was the table. So I just bunched up a bunch of napkins and stuck it in there. It was this metal that was squeaking. Now it's no longer squeaking. Woohoo! So I'm running low on, on fresh water in my water tank. So I got this whole case of water for like three or four bucks. So I'm just going to put a couple of bottles in there. That way I can brush my teeth. Thirsty RV. Oh, oh, I'm gonna spill it. I'm gonna spill it. Go drink up. So it is now 9.30 at night. I'm getting kinda tired, but I found another Love's truck stop one hour from here, so I figure I got enough in me to cut out one more hour tonight. That way I can definitely make it home tomorrow to Dallas. Probably be another six or seven hours to Dallas tomorrow, which is much better than seven or eight hours. So I will be staying the night one hour from now in Tucumcari, New Mexico. Don't know if I said that right. Probably pronounce all these cities I've been going through wrong. Right now I'm in Santa Rosa. I know I'm pronouncing that one right. Oh boy. Ready to go to sleep. I don't know if I have any more movies. Well, I still I have those. Movies that I said were too serious for bedtime. Maybe I buy one at the truck stop. I was always like, who buys these movies at the truck stop? And now I'm here, I'm like, all I want to do is watch movies, and they're always like five or seven dollars. So I'm gonna be that guy and be buying all the movies now. Turning a new leaf. Is it turning a leaf, turning over a new leaf? Also, I'm breaking out. Don't know why, probably from all this driving stress. And because I never wash my face ever. 